I first came to Japan in 2006 to discover the motorsport scene in the country. And the car I absolutely fell in love with on my first day at a Super GT race at Fuji Speedway was this, the 350Z GT500 Nissan. And today I was supposed to be getting a ride in it, but earlier today in a seat fitting, I didn't fit. So I had to get somebody else in to do it for me, Gareth. Hello, Sam. Hello, Gareth. Having a nice day, who are you? Uh, I'm the marketing manager for Nissan Motorsport. Yeah, right. With this great, beautiful car and with a lunatic behind the wheel, how are you feeling about going out round the greatest racetrack in Japan in it? Uh, I'm very excited because, of course, I wasn't expecting this at all, but uh, after seeing your lap in the GTR last year, just a little bit anxious as well. Gareth, why don't you go and put on a race suit and we'll find out how you get on this year. I oh, will. I'll see you later. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how it goes, he's bound to set off of what might be the ride of his life. It's this absolutely stunning car. So here we go. 2006, 350Z. As he goes into the first corner, it's the incredible G-force you get under that braking force. Your face feels like it's going to be peeling off the front windscreen, it's so hard. Show me inside. and he'll just be thrown left to right. His body will be aching from the forces going through it. Oh, you feel it on your chest. The engine just rattles that whole car. It's going to be sensational for him. On the limiter, down the gears, into the hairpin. The grip is incredible. Amazing. The car's belt down this start finish line. And here he comes right now. <laughs> Gareth, how was that? Yeah, that was uh, absolutely amazing. And, uh, just what's really surprising is uh, I think you expect the acceleration, but not the kind of pressure that it puts on your chest. Just uh, trying to catch your breath and trying to breathe is really hard with the G-forces being pushed on you under acceleration, but under braking as well, it just uh, really takes it out of you. If you ever get a chance to come and do this, absolutely do it. I think you'd agree. Absolutely. So I found out that today, so the day before the festival, uh, members of Club Nismo can uh, apply to come and do this. So uh, in Japan, they get to sign a subscription and uh, yeah, they may get the opportunity to come and do this today. So otherwise, normally it's only people like you and I'm very grateful that today that I got the opportunity to do it. But uh, yeah, what an incredible experience.